And today we have new information about Insight, Vancouver's safe injection site. According to a study to be released tomorrow, the controversial project has been a success. But researchers say the federal government is ignoring their findings and has cut their funding. The CBC's Eric Rankin has obtained the report. And a warning, this story contains some graphic footage. They open yet? For three years, Vancouver's supervised injection site, Insight, has been a safe place for addicts to shoot up with clean needles and medical monitoring. And for three years, controversy has raged. Has Insight curtailed the spread of HIV and hepatitis C? Has it reduced overdose deaths? Or has it merely attracted more addicts and more crime to Vancouver's troubled downtown east side? Now, independent researchers assigned to find the answer have a verdict. Today, uh, we know that this works, and therefore a judicious expansion of the SIS uh, uh, here in Vancouver, uh, throughout the Lower Mainland and in other sites across Canada, uh, it would be our recommendation. Tomorrow, a summary of the findings by the independent BC Centre for Excellence in HIV AIDS will be published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. But CBC News has obtained the report. It concludes that Insight has led to large reductions in public drug use, publicly discarded syringes, and syringe sharing around the facility. Increased use of detox services, in other words, addicts seeking education and treatment. No increase in drug dealing, and no increases in drug-related crime or new drug use. But Dr. Montana believes Ottawa doesn't want to hear these results. Back in September, Federal Health Minister Tony Clement refused to grant the safe injection site another three-and-a-half-year exemption, instead opting for a 15-month extension. At the time, he said the only thing that research had shown was that more research was needed. What wasn't known at the time was that Ottawa had also cut research funding, funding that is now being scraped together from other sources. Uh, there is one of them that Canada's is foremost about. AIDS researcher now accuses the Harper government of politically interfering with what he calls pure science. Whether it's uh, their political uh, ideology or their religious beliefs or moral standards, I, you know, I cannot really begin to uh, address those issues, but I, I think that this is basically uh, uh, equivalent to uh, uh, political interference with the natural development of uh, evidence gathering and uh, evidence-based decision making. The Canadian Medical Association Journal is also critical of the Harper government. A commentary accompanying tomorrow's summary states, why would the government on the one hand announce that additional time is needed to study the potential success of the Vancouver Safer Injecting Facility, and on the other hand eliminate the funding needed for such evaluations? One hopes that the current government of Stephen Harper will be willing to learn and to revisit this issue in the interest of public health. Carla and Wayne hope so too. They used to shoot up in this back alley. While both are HIV positive, they're not spreading the virus because they're using the safe injection site. Too many people have died back here. Um, I was almost one of them. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Vancouver.